toy. What is it? What'd you do? Did you knock over your toy? Hello, lady. Hello, lady. Hello, lady. I am doing a little update. Oh, and your other bed's on the floor. Y'all, I have just been having too much fun in here, haven't you? Yes, you have. Hello. Hello. Hello, my love. Hello. I know. Hello. So here we have Marcel, who I am not sure if everyone knows. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. But Marcel was Maya. <laughs> Say, so Maya turned out to be a boy. Yes. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Um, and then here's Lady and Lancelot. Yes. And Bobby is hiding. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Um, and I'm filming in here just to do... Come here, lady. Come over here with your little curly tail. Um, oh, Marcel loves belly rubs. And Jolene did too. Um, and, well, let me start at the beginning. Oh, okay. Say, no, that's not fair. I need a belly rub. Okay, see how good they got? Um, say, we came along just fine. Uh, okay, everyone knows that Gwen passed, or should know. And I have not really been filming in here since then. I have filmed some clips, and I'm going to see if I can sort through and add like um, Katrina and Jolene clips. Um, Cause Katrina and Jolene went to their forever home together. Um, and really, uh, Jolene was wonderful. Uh, just like Marcel here, uh, loves belly rubs. They're really similar, actually. Loves belly rubs. Um, love to be he loves to be held. Um, you know, sweet, 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 sweet. Uh, but Katrina actually went to the home uh, on a Saturday, and she called. The mama called me on Sunday night and said, "I cannot quit thinking about." Jolene, because when she was here to get Katrina, uh, Jolene was doing this, because this is what they do, and so uh, she kept, you know, petting Jolene and da da da. And she really only wanted one cat. Cause she already had two cats, um, and she didn't really want a kitten, even though they're six months old almost. Well, no, they are six months old, so they're not kitten kittens. And she called Sunday. That Sunday and said, is there any way I can do a trial to see if I can, you know, if four cats is any worse? And I, and I tried to tell her, I, you know, I was like, you won't, it, it's really no different, as a, you know. And anyway, so she did, and by Monday night, she was like, no, I'm keeping her. I love her. So Katrina and Jolene went to their forever home together. Um, I have really been concentrating in here on, um, finding these four good homes because it's been a little bit difficult because of Bobby. I did not want to send Bobby to a barn or a farm or anything like that. And Bobby just will not, um, now Bobby will tolerate petting if, you know, you kind of catch her, not catch her, but like say, you know, she's on the bed asleep and she doesn't realize you came in, you know, you can pet her and, and that kind of thing. Um, but she doesn't, she's not like this. <laughs> We're, uh, so, you know, it, that took a little bit longer. Didn't it? Yes, it did. But I am happy to announce, and the reason I am filming in here is because this weekend, Lady and Lancelot are going to their forever home. Um, their mom has been really patient. She actually uh, wanted to adopt them two weeks ago. Um, 
but she had a trip on one of the weekends in the middle of that two weeks and I really I talked her into waiting to get them until after her trip because she was gonna be gone for four days and now she had um, she has a daughter she has a 16 year old daughter that was gonna be there but we discussed it and I'm not sure how because they've been here so long sometimes it's harder to transition and we discussed it and she agreed so uh, they are going to their forever home Lancelot and Lady together. Yes, they are and their mama has come and visit them several times and so has their human sister Oh, you almost fell off. I oh, know you're nutty and the big wonderful news is that Marcel Mama Who is wonderful has had actually feral cats before? um, not Just inside um but she grew up on, it wasn't really a farm per se, but anyway, she grew up um, around feral cats that were like inside outside cat. They could come and go as they pleased. And so she, because she fell in love with Marcel. Uh, and over the course of her coming to visit, you know, she, I talked to her, not to get her to adopt a Bobby, but I just talked to her about how I'm really worried about if I'm gonna have to, you know, send Bobby to a farm or if I should, you know, have him fostered somewhere else to see. Um, anyway, or her, not him. Bobby is a girl. <laughs> oh, are you gonna get me? Yeah, you're gonna get me. So anyway, uh, the last time she was here, she's like, you know, because she doesn't have any cats. She just has a little Pomeranian. But it's not a full blood. It's like some mix. I don't know. Um, and she said we discussed it. And she wants to adopt Bobby and uh, Marcel together. Because she said even if Bobby doesn't uh, come around. You know, Bobby loves animals. Bobby loves, it's like when I'm not in here. Bobby is everywhere playing. You know, da, da 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 And she said, you know, even if Bobby is one of those cats that you just never can, you know, really, really um, love on and that kind of thing, you know, she would be well taken care of as a house cat. You know, there's, there's plenty of house cats that you really um, aren't what you call lap cats. And Marcel, obviously, is... A lap cat <laughs> so Marcel and Bobby are gonna go home together I was I, you, you don't even know I cried <laughs> oh I did I cried because these the these kittens I call them the hoarding kittens have been that whole experience has just been one of the most difficult in a lot of ways and I'm not gonna go into it um, you know, you know part of it with Gwen, and, but it, it's not just here. Like my other foster, you know, there were so many, and it anyway. And these are the last of them, and it does kind of make me sad because it is, you know, we've been working on this since last summer, and but I'm very happy. So they have found their forever homes. Yes, they have. And every single cat and kitten, except Bobby, <laughs> uh, socialized wonderfully. Um, they all found homes, so that's a win. It did take almost, well, it was probably nine, almost ten months, but we got it done. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. See, I haven't even been born for nine months well we started before you yes we did oh my gosh I wish Marcel is just a love bug let me tell you what are you doing up there what you doing lady you're such a good girl yes you are okay well that is it I just wanted to give an update I know lots and lots of people have asked I'm sorry uh, that I did not continue filming in here um, but Gwen's passing was very hard for me. And um, 
I was determined to get them all prepared as best I could for Forever Homes. Um, so that is what I did. And uh, just know that everybody is going to safe and happy, healthy homes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I will dig through some of the clips and see if I can find um, some of Katrina and Jolene to add at the end of this uh, so you can see how wonderful they looked before they went to their forever homes. Oh, look at you. They're getting so big. Oh. And if you're wondering, there's Bobby, by the way. Let's see. Will you let me get close to you? No. See? I love her, but she just, she just wouldn't. Look at the beautiful baby. Good morning. Hi, Mom. I know. Mom knows something's going on. I think everybody does. I know, honey. Plus, they had visitors yesterday, didn't you? Yes, Mama found her new home yesterday. Didn't you, Katrina? Um, but she is going to get spayed tomorrow. And then she's going to her new home that she could not go because she's not spayed and she's too big. Uh, but she is going tomorrow. I know. I know. Oh, you got food on your nose. Look, the, where'd you get that food on your nose? Messy, messy. 